All right, we're back home with the bees, and I just want to give you a quick tip on the things that I'm going to take down there with me to hive these packages, okay? So I got two packages. Down in the yard, we got two hives ready to go. Taking a hive tool with me. Taking some kind of thumbtacks because you want to hold this down, right, when you let this loose. And you also want to put this, uh, you want to use this thumbtack to kind of hold the queen in place when you get down in the hive, all right? And I got a toothpick. And the toothpick is to poke through the candy. We're gonna see that in a couple minutes. And then we got some sugar water. Why do we have sugar water? Well, I don't wanna smoke these bees, right? But I need something to calm these bees down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray them with a little sugar water. These bees are gonna be focused on the sugar water. They're gonna be cleaning themselves off, hopefully, and not focusing on me. Uh, smoke is not gonna do a lot of good to them. Uh, these bees are kind of clustered up in a swarm. Uh, usually when you apply smoke, uh, it's to confuse the bees, but it also has the bees start uh, going after the honey uh, because they think there's a forest fire. So there's no honey to protect here. There's no honey to eat here. So uh, smoke is not going to help these bees very much. So really what you're going to need to do, you want to calm them down is use a little bit of sugar water. Uh, if it's a rainy, cold day, I would not suggest spraying these down with sugar water. But do whatever your class tells you to do, okay? This is just me doing my stuff. And every beekeeper is going to have a different opinion. So wrap this. I'm going to get all this stuff together. We're going to go down to the bee yard. I'm going to set up the camera and we're going to show you guys how this is done. Okay, we're down in the bee yard. We can see Burgundy Hive is, uh, is already happy. She's woke up. Bees are flying in with pollen pants. Our two new hives here. We're getting ready to put these bad boys inside the hive. They're clustered up around their queen right now. They're happy. We're going to get ready to spray them down with some sugar water, keep them calm. I'm thinking about taking this box right here and doing the easy method with it, right? Which uh, you would do this if it was a rainy day and you really couldn't shake your bees, right? I'm thinking about doing that with this hive because there's a lot of, or this box because there's a lot of dead bees down in the bottom. Uh, if I shake this box, it's gonna, all those dead bees are going to end up in the bottom, right? But if I take the queen out of here and I put her in the bottom, I take the sugar water out of here, and then I just lay this box on its side, inside of this other box, on the top one. We'll put it in the top one here. It's going to actually go on the other side, but we'll lay it on the side on the top of this box. When we lay it on its side, all the bees will come out of here overnight, and they'll go down and they'll get on those frames. We'll have to come back out tomorrow, though, uh, and we'll have to open this up. We'll have to take this box out and refill the frames back up. If you don't do that, those bees will start working in there. Guaranteed, they'll start building comb. So if you do it this way, you have to go in the next day, okay? This I always wear my gear. You'll see a lot of guys doing videos where they're not wearing gear. I'm not doing this without wearing gear. So I'm going to go ahead and put my hood up, get my gloves on. We'll start opening up this box, show you guys what it looks like. All right, so for right now, though, we're going to set this guy over here. I don't want too much sun. I don't want too much shade. All right, so let's see. All right, I'm in there. I'm putting my gloves on too. You might see a lot of beekeepers do this without gloves. It's fine. I don't like to do it. I don't like to wear equipment. I don't like to be stung. I don't know why I watch these videos of beekeepers. Nothing, no offense to them or nothing. I just don't understand why they like to be stung. And they appear to like it because they go out there with flip flops, shorts, and all kinds of other crazy stuff. And they're on the video just, be, ow, one got me. Ah, oh, one got me. And I'm just going, what are you doing? Get away, man. Put a suit on or something, right? Anyway. I guess they enjoy it. I don't like it. So here's what's happening when you have a this rock for a second. When you have a package of bees, right? So first thing that happens is they have a uh, they have this thing stapled down in case this bee thing flips upside down. We don't want the sugar water coming out of here and all the bees going crazy, right? So first thing you want to do is pop that off. I've already taken this one just to check it, right? Now I gotta take I gotta do one hand free, right? Can't do this with all two sets of gloves so this is what I like to do because I don't need that right now I've had this fall in before okay and when you lose your queen trap inside of all here and you got to get them out of there you ain't happy right I wasn't happy so the first thing I like to do is I like to put my own thumbtack inside of here I hope you guys can see that because there's a staple holding this in and uh, you got to take that staple out right what you want to do is you want to get these bees to hit the bottom. 
you want to get this can out. There's a can in here, okay? It's got sugar water in it. I'll show you, right? It's, it's kind of the hardest thing to actually do out of this job is pull this can out. Uh, you get the can out of there. All the bees are clustered up, right? So I got to knock them to the bottom. Get the can out. Get this queen out. Put the lid back on so that I can work with this queen. And I'm going to show you the queen in just a second. So I'm going to do this quickly. Uh, I'm not going to probably talk through it all, right? But the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to give them a little sugar water. And when I'm not trying to drown the bees, right? Just like with my smoke, you're not trying to, uh, you're not trying to suffocate the bees. You're not trying to drown the bees here. You're just trying to take your attention off of what you're doing. Okay, a little bit more sugar because I want them to pay attention to the sugar. Now I'm going to bounce them. Now, you guys are like, holy crap, and me too, right? So here we go. Let's get this thing done before they all start losing their mind. And like I said, this is the hard part for some reason. Okay, got the sugar water out. There's our sugar water. Now, the bees are still in there. Take this one paper clip off, not paper clip, staple. Get rid of the staple. Oops, there went my, I'm gonna keep that because I don't wanna lose that. It'd be great if I do it on live camera, right? Not live, but still it'd be great. All right, so we're gonna get rid of, we're gonna take this out. Here we go. Oops, get back down in there. All right, we got our queen out. Let's look, can we see her? Oh yeah, there she is. She's big, right? I'm taking that cork out right there, right? On one side, I hope you guys can see this. On one side, it's got candy, right? On the other side, it's just a cork. So if you wanted to quick release this queen, if she'd been established in that box for a few days and you wanted to quick release this queen, you could quick release her, okay? We're not gonna do that right now. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna take the toothpick and I'm gonna go up in here with a little hole, okay? And what that's gonna do, it's already popped through there. Man, it's, whatever the fondant it is, it's kinda, I'm not happy. I don't know what this is, right? But anyways, uh, she's in there. Those attendants are in there. I don't like that they're stuck there. We might have to check on her tomorrow, right? So when we come in and get this box out, we might have to check on her and make sure that they've, uh, they don't have anything like jammed up or wedged up in there when they try to get her out of there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take her and I'm going to place her in the bottom box, okay? I got two boxes on these things. That's what I use. I use eight frame medium. I'm going to place her in the bottom box. I've got, I've got drawing comb everywhere in here, okay? Uh, some people tell you put her sideways, put her like this, put her like this. It's up to you. You make your own decision, okay? Because some people will say if you put her this way and they eat candy, the candy can fall back in. Kind of the same way here. The candy hole is really big. Whatever kind of candy is in this one uh, is not so great. But uh, I barely poked through there, and there's some actually some bees were trying to get through there. She's going to start. There's Who's digging? I can't hardly see. I'm going to put her in there, right? She doesn't like it. She's going in the, in the frames. Now, we're going to put this on top. Oops. I almost turned around and stepped right on the bees, but I didn't. I'll take the feeder out, too. I'm just going to do this like this. My inner cover. These ones are on me right now. So these bees are hived. There's a couple flying around. They want to land right on my hand. You can see that. They're flying around on me. They're not really pegging me, right? So I don't know what they're doing. They might just try to be landing on me. It's not really, they're not really trying to do nothing, right? So this is gonna be a little different when I do this hive. Now, we've got a sugar water leaking out of here. You can feed this back to the bees if you want. See, they're all over my hand. I hope she don't sting me, right? But there she is. Okay. She actually looks like a pretty young bee to me. This one's gonna be a little different. We're gonna shake these bees. So these bees are gonna get all upset. So if you thought there was a lot of bees flying around now, you wait for just a second, cause we're gonna shake this other one. This is the shake method, okay? And when I start sweating, I start rubbing my nose and stuff. And that's when I pinch a bee and get stung, right? Around now, I gotta watch what I'm doing with my bare hand because they don't want to sting me right yet. But if I squeeze one, they're gonna want to sting me. 
can guarantee it. So, there's a drone flying around. Pretty sure it's a drone. If not, it's gonna sting me. Drones don't have, drones don't sting, right? There's a drone. I think I lost one of my thumbtacks already, which I probably did. So we might actually lose the uh, queen in this one. And if we do, it's gonna make for good video of me trying to dig it out of there. Let's try not to, okay? Let's just be careful. Hey, you can't stay there. That's how people get stung, right? Why don't you go down in there? All right. You can't stay there either, sorry. All right. Let me get rid of that now. Make my life a little bit easier. If there's any staples on here, because what held me up last time, I don't know if you guys noticed that, what held me up last time is I went to put this lid back on and I couldn't get it all the way down because there was a staple. So a whole bunch of bees came out of the side, right, when I did this. So take this one off. Here's what happens, right? It's because these staples kind of suck. That's why everything is kind of happens like this. Just talking to myself, people, that's what I like to do. Okay, when I'm working, I like to talk to myself. You happen to be watching me, so I'm kind of talking to you too. Hey, man, what are you doing? Get off of there. She's not stinging me. Look at that little baby right there. Look how little she is. Right? Come on now. She, you see, I got all kinds of sugar on her. Go on, get over there. You know, we don't. Nobody wants to die. Just get over there. Go on. There you go. Oh, she's gonna fly right on me. All right. So we're gonna bounce this bad boy so we can get the queen down out of there. So here we go. Let's upset everybody. Oops. I told you, man, this sucks. This is the worst part about it. Especially, see when you're trying to hold this queen now. I got the cup coming out. Where's the lid? Don't have the lid. You really need three hands to do this, right? All right, cleans out. Leave that just like that for a second. Don't go anywhere. We need this lid back. Put that over there like that. No bees should be able to get out now. Touch your sugar somewhere. Let's check our queen. Let's look at her. All right, so some of her attendants too. I hope you guys can see that. Some of her attendants, get out of the way. Some of her attendants are up stuck in that uh, stuff too. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take, yeah, there she is. Okay, I see her. The queen's in there. She doesn't like to be shown. These guys are going, what the hell? You're not our queen, right? So they're causing a little bit of a ruckus here. I don't like the ruckus. Candy side, this is the side we want, right? So we're gonna pull out this cork. Okay, that's the candy side. You see the candy? I'm gonna take my toothpick poke a little hole through it now be careful your queen's in there right you want to wait till she goes to the other side when she goes to the other side then you can poke it through okay because you don't want to poke your queen man she's very important without her you can't have another queen right they got to lay some eggs first right very important so I'm gonna go ahead and put her down in here and I'm gonna close these things up just like that okay she can she can she can get out she could chew the, they could chew the candy to get her out of there but she's gonna be okay I'm gonna put the second box back on now like I said people if you don't like the way I'm doing this that's okay this is my method that I've done it's taken me five years to figure out how to do all this stuff and this is the way I've been doing it I appreciate it if you don't like it this way it won't hurt my feelings now this one's got a feeder, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. Although I really don't need this feeder right now. I've given them honey from another queen, from another box, I'm sorry, that I had that died over the winter, and they left a bunch of honey in there. So these these two packages that I'm doing today is gonna have plenty of honey, okay? So I'm gonna shake them, I'm gonna spray them down one more time because I'm getting ready to dump them now, okay? And they're gonna, I'm gonna have to shake them out of this box. They do not like this, but they're gonna put up with it. Okay, that's a little too much sugar to be honest with you. Anybody seeing that can go ahead and tell me that. Chris, you did too much sugar. Get out of there, buddy. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna. So really, the idea now is I'm gonna take some of these frames out because I want them to fall down in the bottom, right? And then I'll put the frames back in. You can put it on top, and they would go down in there. 
if you had smoke but guess what i don't have smoke to chase them down in there right now so i'm gonna take these frames out for just a second they'll go back in after i dump these bees in here we go and this is the dump method right here You're like, holy crap, what is he doing? He's just shaking bees out of there like he's a madman. And that's what you got to do, folks. Okay, let's get one more bump. Get these bees, shake it out of there. Shake it up, bees. Now they are super pissed. We'll go ahead and take this around the front. Set this in front of the hive. And hopefully, they will crawl out of there onto their own box. Now... This is where you could use some smoke, really. Right, so be careful. Don't use things that can hurt them, right? Because right now I could use some smoke because I'm gonna put these frames in and I'd love for these bees to go down inside here. Now, I'm just gonna gently start move, letting it settle, right? Not squishing anybody. They'll move out of the way. Oh, come on now. Get out the way. Really easy, gentle, 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 gentle. Letting it set down there until I can feel it move out of the way. I kind of let it go. It'll slide back in on its own. The bees are starting to come up the frames. We're going to put this one in. It's the last frame for right now. Okay. Bees are in for the most part. The bees that you want to be in there. We got a couple of stragglers. Sorry. But as you can see, man, I'm not... I'm not being lit up here, really. Uh, they can be relatively calm, especially if you give them something to focus on, which is the sugar water, right? And when you do, now, when you're calm like this, they'll just walk all over you, right? You gotta make sure when you go back inside that there's nothing left on you. Get off me, bud. All right. Let's put this lid back on these guys now. Put this on like this, because I like to slide. It's got some problems. They got to get down in there. Get down inside that hive. Right? So we, I'm going to start lowering her down until they go, oh, wait, something's happening. Something's happening. Y'all get down in there. Easy. Get down in there. Don't nobody around the edge. Get under there. What are you doing? Quit trying to get in there. All right. Lids on. Out of cover. Going on. There we have it. Bees are hived. All right, folks, that's it. The bees are in the hive. Maybe you can see me, maybe you can't. We're gonna turn the camera around and show you. All right, so it's kind of a mess right now. But we have small entry seducers on all the hives, okay? The bees are coming in and out. They're gonna have a little bit of confusion for the rest of the day, but once it gets dark, everything will be okay. Everybody will go into the right houses and they'll start relaxing and chill out. But right now, they are not. There are bees all over the place and they are super upset with me. But they're not stinging me, they're just upset because they don't know what to do. They're not defensive. They're just confused and a little scared. But that's all right, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to take care of you guys. So there you have it, folks.